What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a great day and staying safe. So on this channel, we talk a lot about nutrition, fitness, and investments. These are the fields of my expertise, and I believe I can bring a lot of value. My ultimate goal for this channel is to make you guys look good, feel good, and make some money as passively as possible. <coughs> Stock market. <coughs> Yeah, so sit back, relax, get your healthy snack, and enjoy the video. All I ask for a return is a like and subscribing. That's it. All right, let's get down to the video. Starting off with the first question, is the stock market scary? I'll give you a short answer and a long answer. The short answer is, yes, it is. But the long answer is, well, the longer you guys buy and hold good quality companies, it's actually not. Guys, I've been investing in the stock market for more than seven years now, and I have turned $1,000 to $100,000, to over $100,000 right now. And I did all that by buying good quality companies, buying more of them over time, and just letting compound interest do its thing. And that's what's called investing, buying good companies um, frequently and over time, the compound interest will come and do its thing and you'll realize that you've made a lot of money. In the short term, it's going to be very volatile, like what it is right now. But in the long term, it's a weighing machine. Let's take a look at the S&P 500 charts. And by the way, guys, if it's your first time investing in the stock market, the S&P 500 index funds are your best friends. Do not buy companies, separate companies, separate stocks because a friend told you or because you know some guy in on the internet that you should always do your research first know what the fundamentals are and then go ahead and buy it once you're comfortable with it but if you guys are looking to put your money somewhere that is better than a savings account well the s p 500 is a great place to start and you know you'll, you'll see why in a bit all right so let's go ahead and take a look at the s p 500 chart which is pretty much an index with five with the biggest 500 biggest companies in the u.s and let's compare short term to long term so when we look at the chart here five days chart looks very volatile like you don't know where the stock is going it's up one day sharply up the other day down the other day you just don't know it's very volatile you can't really count on it in, in, in five days let's look at it in a month time i mean it's dipping it looks pretty scary i'm not going to lie it is it is dipping down but let's look at it six months time look at that that's pretty stable it's going up nice and slowly let's look at year to date we did have that crash early on this year because of covid which was kind of which was kind of a stupid panic sell to be honest guys but even with that we're, we were pretty much recovered and guys don't be spooked with these huge dips or crashes it's 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 healthy for the market to go through this it's the only way for it to hit all time highs is to have these types of pullbacks and they're honestly more of a buying opportunity like imagine if you guys bought at the dip you guys could have made some serious money let's look at the 5 years now which is wow these dips are looking more of a buying opportunity, aren't they? And let's look at the max, what Google has to offer us. And wow, look at this. The dips are barely noticed. And again, any dips here was pretty much a buying opportunity. And you know what? Let's just forget about all that. Let's say you invested right before the 2008 crash. You bought right at the peak and everything just crumbled. You would be down 50%. I mean, within a year and a half, half your money just vanished. But if you held on without buying any more shares, without buying the dip and averaging down, well, by now, even with the recent crash, you would have made more than double your money. And all you did was nothing. Absolutely nothing. You just, you just held. That's all you did. All you did was hold your shares, you doubled your money, even with two major crashes. That is the power of long-term investing. So the longer that you guys hold your investments that you believe in, the more money you make. It doesn't matter if there's a big major crash or not. The longer you hold, the more money you make, and this is proven over hundreds of years. These crashes, guys, are honestly just big opportunities, and it's there for you guys to capitalize on them. You could think of it as a discount. So yes, to answer this question, if the stock market is scary or not, in the short term, it really is because you have no idea where the stock is gonna be going. But again, you know what they say, in the short term it's a voting machine, but in the long term, it's a weighing machine. All right, now the question comes is how can I overcome fear when there is a major crash or overall get into the stock market without being scared? Well guys, fear is a natural human emotion and sadly we can't really get rid of it, but we can control it. And you know what? It's not just for the stock market, it's with everything. It's the reason why we don't start a business, it's the reason why we don't go out and do new things. It's because of failing and what other people think of us. It's a natural feeling. It's a natural emotion. But it's very important to learn how to control it and not let it get the best of us. I mean, for example, early on this year, this God forbid terrible 2020, 
you know, when countries all around the world went into lockdown in March, I mean, it was pretty concerning. I was pretty scared myself. Airports being locked down, curfews was being in place, restrictions. It was an absolute nightmare. And all this has happened overnight, which was just a big shock to everybody. Pretty much you could say that our freedom was taken away so we can be kept safe from this global virus. And honestly guys, that was some scary stuff. No one has been through this before, this fast. And the stock market reacted the way it did. And so I, and so that's why I dropped 34% in the span of a month, which is just absolutely insane. I remember there was days where I was checking my investing account and I saw the stock market going down in a day, like 20, 25%. Like I have never seen anything like that. It was absolutely crazy. But instead of selling and being scared like everybody else was, I saw an opportunity. I kept calm and cool. And I thought to myself for a second, and I'm like, wait a minute. Everybody still needs food, everybody still needs electricity, everybody still needs necessary things just to survive. And now people are scared to leave their homes to go to grocery stores, to go to places that they want to buy because they're scared of catching this virus. But then I thought, oh, wait a minute, online is going to be the best place to be because where else is everybody going to go at home? What are they going to do at home, stuck at home, jailed, prison in their own home? And then I looked at Amazon and I'm like, why is Amazon dropping? Won't Amazon benefit from here? And then I saw Google dropping. I'm like, but Google is pretty much the internet. People are always going to be on the web. YouTube is owned by Google. Google is the biggest search engine right now. I mean, Google is everything right now. Why was Facebook dropping? Why was Microsoft dropping? Isn't everybody, isn't everybody gonna, gonna be working from home now? Like it was really weird. And then that's when I woke up and realized that this is a panic sale. People really thought with all this stuff going on that it's going to be the end of the world. I mean, just look at the media, what they were saying. People were fighting over toilet papers at you know grocery stores it was absolutely crazy what was going on even elon musk tweeted that the panic sale is stupid and i 100 percent agree because i knew what he was talking about so instead of selling like everybody else i went to my bank contributed money to my investing account and i bought all the good companies on discount and i regret nothing i mean let's just even take what just happened recently like just on friday like just last friday donald trump tested positive for covid and the whole stock market start dropping. Like, why? What does Donald Trump getting COVID have to do with Amazon? I don't understand. But honestly, guys, these are the kind of dips that just makes me rich. Or if you guys see what's going on, it makes every it makes you guys rich if you guys can capitalize on these dips. What I'm trying to say, guys, is that when times like this happen, don't make any sudden moves because that's fear getting the best of you. Instead, sit back, relax, get a glass of warm water. And just think, whatever the media says, whatever the TV says, don't listen to them, don't panic, just sit back, relax, analyze the situation, and use this. And you'll notice and realize that these panic sales and huge dips is just once in a decade opportunity. You could cash in, or you could sit back and sell like everybody else. And that's how you guys overcome fear. I hope you guys enjoy this video because if you guys are this far in the video, then you guys did. So if you guys can go ahead and drop that like button, that'll help me out a lot. Comment down below if you guys have any comments about, about this topic and subscribe for more and I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace.